Hello and welcome to a quick keyboard showcase of the Roseville RK9000 V2 keyboard over PS2 and USB. We're going to do PS2 first over this dongle and the results will be a, <laughs> will be a bit different. Let's put it like that. We have a, a little input test program here which will show the millisecond timing difference between the keys when hit and we've tested this across the um, known data that we have from Eternal Replays and stuff and it seems to match pretty spot on. So we're just going to take a look at uh, the pulling rate and chord splitting of this keyboard. So the first thing we're going to do is kind of just hit keys sporadically here and just see if we find any patterns really quick. Sometimes it uh, takes a little bit. So we got 13, 13, 16, 18, 15, 37, uh, 35, 34. So yeah, even even in this quick little test right here, you can already see like one to two millisecond differences in the times between which means it's very likely that this keyboard has a high pulling rate and the standard high pulling rate for keyboards is 1000 hertz. So uh, we're gonna move on to chord splitting next, which we're going to do just by kind of pressing all of the keys at a similar time and just kind of seeing if we can discern any patterns. And you can probably already see we do have a little bit of a pattern here, generally between uh, one to two milliseconds. And um, that just kind of show uh, showcases that, assuming that this is a, um, high polling keyboard that we cannot pull in the same cycle. It is just between one and two milliseconds. So every key will just be slightly offset. Uh, this, is a, this isn't too bad of a chord split. And uh, now let me just switch this over to USB and just kind of see how that changes. All right, so I am back, I am back, and we're gonna check out the same keyboard on USB, and um, we're just gonna kinda do this a little bit different here, just cause I know that this is uh, actually a low keyboard uh, pulling rate. You can kinda see already, just by doing these little, these, these little um, gallops, we've got these multiples, they're not exact multiples of eight. That's not um, how this hardware works. The pulling rate's not gonna be exactly the same uh, millisecond difference every single time. It's a, it's a little bit variable and you can kind of see the multiples, uh, approximate multiples of eight showing up. So we got 32, 24, 40, 30, like 32, um, just kind of showing up constantly. Just multiple, general multiples of eight. So 48, around 48 again. Um, so it's very likely that this keyboard has a polling rate of about 125 Hertz right now based off of that which is kind of your standard, uh, your standard polling rate for a, uh, for a keyboard. And uh, what we're gonna do now is test chord splitting on this because uh, it, that can change as well when you uh, put this in. So I'll, we'll just kind of press some keys really quick and you can kind of see that we're getting a bunch of zeros now. Oh, that three is probably my fault, but we've, we're getting a lot of zeros, which we weren't getting before. And the reason for that is that the uh, pulling rate is much slower than the uh, the chord splitting is. Uh, so what ends up happening is everything gets reported on the same pulling cycle. So there is no chord splitting when you're using this in USB mode, but uh, do bear in mind that the pulling rate is now much lower. So uh, that pretty much that pretty much wraps it up with this keyboard. I just wanted to um, make a video of it just because it's a little bit more validating to show off the keyboard in action physically along with the data as opposed to just posting some Mobius screenshots in the spreadsheet. Um, I hope this is useful to you and uh, take care.